Did I actually Gigafold GX Plus for the win? Are you looking for sealed product and singles? You can find it all on Channel Fireball. Please use my Teomon affiliate code when checking out to help support my content. Looking for PTGO codes? Photon Store has all the latest sets and promos instantly delivered to your email. You can use Teomon code when checking out for 5% off. If you're from Europe, Millipods Gaming has a wide array of sealed products, singles and more. You can use Teomon code when checking out for 5% off. Card Market is Europe's largest online marketplace for Pokemon cards. Whether you're looking for sealed product or singles, vintage or the latest sets, just follow the link in the description to find what you need. Want to show off your love for Tablemon? Check out my 2021 merch. These new hoodies and shirts are available on Amazon. Click on the link in the description to get yours. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of 50 Keys, 50 Decks. We're gonna be playing with a dark muse read today. Um, once again, zero expectations for this deck. I feel like I want to choose to go second, you know, to mess with possible dark decks and P-crumbs. Um, I'm hoping for one point, one tournament wrap off of this deck would be nice. Um, the more likely outcome is zero right but hey you never know right you never know <laughs> i just want to play i really i just like just it's okay right i i understand losing i know i can't win every game but I don't even get to play. <laughs> I don't even get to play. That is what's really frustrating. I don't even get to actually play the game. And I've been getting just completely wrecked by the matchups too. It's like, I'm not playing against ADP, I'm not playing against Beakram, I'm not even playing against Centiscorch. I'm just getting completely wrecked here by these like absolutely terrible matchups every single time. Okay, well. <laughs> I want to cry, man. I really want to cry. It's just, it's been a, a series of, of successive bad everything that it's just, it's getting to a point where it's really frustrating. You know, it's getting to a point where it's really frustrating. I'm gonna finish this uh, challenge, but it's just, it's getting ridiculous. It's getting absolutely ridiculous. I definitely want the Hoopa. Okay, these guys don't attack my hand though, so that's good. Oh, you know what? I probably needed to go like three prizes, two prizes. Well, they have cost, so. Maybe not. You know what? I'm gonna grab a Rangru and I'm gonna save the boss. I'm actually going to save the boss. Just don't give me a rare candy, please. <laughs> I hate you too, PTCGO. I hate you too, PTCGO. What even is this? <laughs> I actually hate you too, PTCGO. Anyways. Rogue ring for that. Did it change? I guess. Another boss gone. Uh, let's do church instead. No, you know what? Let's do quick wall. No, let's just grab it, Denny. Uh, what even is this, man? 
It's getting really ridiculous. At least a quick world top deck. Allowed me to play, right? I'm probably still gonna lose. Starting Mewtwo is a really big deal here. Um, hopefully I don't die, right? Hopefully my Mewtwo survives, but... Gigafall GX. 10 energy. Can I actually get 10 energy onto the this guy? Probably not. Okay, so 3. They need 14. No, 13. 14. No. 14 times 2. No, they need 7 times 2. They need 7. 7 mad partiers in the discard pile to just KO my Mewtwo on turn 1. It's obviously going to happen, right? It's obviously going to happen. We're gonna see a Tere change. There's already three, we're gonna see a Tere change. There it is. One, two, three, four, five, six. They just need one more. <laughs> oh, I'm getting bodied so badly. In every key. <sighs> I am getting bodied so much. I am having zero luck. Zero luck with my hands and zero luck with pairings. Okay, well, if they actually, did they change one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Exactly. Perfect. Perfect starts. Perfect hands for all my opponents. That's what table one does. Hands out. Perfect everything. Hands out. Perfect everything. <sighs> All right, so I feel like the only chance I actually have <laughs> is if I go boss kill the Dene. No, but then they two shot me, right? Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, I need to tank hits. That's what I need to do. I need to tank hits. Ah, uh, only one energy. Only one energy because that's how I roll. I mean, maybe I can greedy really crush. Uh, no, it's it's game over for sure. I won't even be able to power up something else afterwards. Like five, six, seven. My deck is 13 cards. There's eight energies there, or like, I don't know, I prize two or three. It's, it's mission impossible every time I play. I'm already recording zero points for this. There's just no chance. There's just absolutely no chance here. I start the game with five energies and then I barely find energies afterwards. <laughs> Uh, 
They're being very careful with their DNAs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And that's 200 damage. Like, pfft. well, that's useful, I guess. That is definitely useful. Chromat is there. See? Seven energies in my deck. <laughs> Seven energies. And I prized my other boss, right? Oh no, I'm down all three bosses. Yeah, this is I'm I've absolutely lost this game. Okay, what if I GX KO with this guy? Oh wait, what if I'm What if I use Gigafold GX this turn? Okay, seven energies. What if I use Gigafold GX this turn? I think that's my only plan to win. You discard 15 cards. They would be left with six cards. They are down three Poltegeists. You know what? Let's do it. You know what? Let's heck into it. <laughs> this is insane. It is five, right? Yeah. All right. Well, here goes nothing. Just happened. Poltergeist is down. Only to Bonnel Beast, though. Oh my gosh, I think I won. I think I actually won. <laughs> actually, no, never mind. They still have one triple, and they probably still have Ordinary Run. <laughs> the bottle bee doesn't matter. The bottle bees do not matter because they're down four twin energies. No way. No way. Absolutely no way this is possible. There's the energy! What? Did we do it? Did I actually Gigafold GX plus for the win? <laughs> wow, I had already recorded zero points for this deck. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, I'll see you in the next round. All right, somehow, <laughs> we made it to round two of Dark Mew 3. I am still in shock. I am still very much shocked and this is actually not a bad hand. What is happening? <laughs> what is actually happening? Okay, we're up against Eternatus VMAX. This is where the Mew 3 run ends for sure. <laughs> Unless. Nah, even then. Unless they get like a terrible start, you know? Which so far. That's an underwhelming start, right? Chromat for one. Oh my gosh. Okay, so choosing to go. Wow, capture onto the Crobat. Okay, so we have an extra turn, which is really good. We are now guaranteed to have an extra turn. Okay, so I'm gonna Pokecon this to save it. I'm gonna grab Guru. Oh no, the Hoopa is prized now. 
Koopa and two rare candies are priced. I am never setting up. <laughs> I try to end this match. <laughs> I am absolutely never setting up High Dragon in this match. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna forget about the boss. <laughs> oh boy. I'm just gonna establish another dino. I'm gonna save the the Denny. Are you kidding me? Are you hacking kidding me, Dak? Are you hacking kidding me, Dak? I have to dig. I have to dig. Okay, well that's that's all right. So do I go ram? <laughs> Is that actually my play to ram? <sighs> yeah. I mean, they had a slow start, but uh, down two bosses. If I was gonna have any chance at all. If I'm gonna have any chance at all, it's GXing with Dark Moon on an Eternatus V max. When they have nothing else powered up, right? So the way I win is next turn I KO Krogunk or whatever is active. They return KO my Mewtwo. And then I go Dark Moon, their Eternatus V Max. They can't do much, and I go boss, KO, Crobat. That is how I win the game. And I can't miss a beat, right? I can't miss a beat. I cannot miss a beat. I mean, we have a chance, right? We actually have a chance, surprisingly. We actually have a chance, surprisingly. I just hope I don't get Marnied, because if this rare candy goes to the bottom of the deck, that's gonna be basically game over. <laughs> Double Dino is now an annoyance. Maybe I overdid it with this Dino. Maybe I overdid it with the Dino right there. Because I will have to Teddy change this, this, her, this hand. Therefore, I won't have the potential to have another Mewtwo ready to go. So I'm gonna have to find Mewtwo and six energies, maybe seven. Well, as long as I don't don't evolve Dino, I'll have the free treat. I guess that's the one positive. <laughs> I do two ten, so nothing survives the hit. It's gonna come down to my last boss, which is. Ridiculous that I saved something and I got the other boss, right? If I had two boss left in the deck, I'd be a lot more hopeful, but... Okay, so they go with the poison. That makes things... Wow. <laughs> Way harder. They haven't played a draw supporter yet. Oh, uh, that's actually really good. That is actually really, really good. Because now I can actually have the Mewtwo established. Um, I do need to find a ton of energy though. Which is not necessarily going to be easy at all. 
So I think I actually keep the bench space open in case I need to dig further. I think that's the play. But I absolutely need to take this KO. Absolutely need to take this KO. Okay, and I will. And I actually will. It really sucks having to commit five energies though, because I'm getting wrecked next turn. So then do I dig for a switch? I think I do. I think I dig for a switch. And just to get closer to the stadium and more energies. Fairly certain I do that at this point. Okay, so I did get the switch. I have one energy in the discard pile. Okay, so I'm gonna switch. Yeah, because maybe filling up the bench is not gonna be super easy for them, you know? Maybe. I'm drawing now dead though. <laughs> I am now drawing dead. Uh, so let's put back the switch, I guess. What's my top card? Yeah. I need two really good prizes. That's not a good price. That's not a good price. <sighs> I need my opponent to somehow whiff this KO. <laughs> I need my opponent to somehow whiff this KO. Yep. Okay, well, as long as I don't bench attack team, maybe... <laughs> I was gonna say, maybe not all hope is lost, but... <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need one more basic Pokemon. There's no way they don't not have it, right? That boss play, man. Oh wait, no, they, they had more than enough, Never mind. That boss play though, like, maybe they didn't have another one. I don't know. I'm down eight energies. Can I still pull this off? <laughs> nope. Not quite. Didn't even get the Mewtwo. Didn't even get the Mewtwo. so dead it's not even funny <laughs> yeah no, it's game over if they attach energy there it's game over there it is because they'll be able to recover the energy off of my stadium so it comes down to can they fill up their bench I guess so they'll need one Pokemon <laughs> yeah it's I never stood a chance. I absolutely never, ever stood a chance right here. Ever. Ever. I don't even think I have a rare candy left in the deck. <laughs> I 
All right. Well, it got me one point. I had a chance. It got me one point. I had a chance. It just it wasn't going to happen. <laughs> All right. Um, see you in the next video.